Welcome to the third energy transmission in this Lemurian Pleiadian activation series. This is going to be three of seven, and if you are just joining us, I have some more information about the Lemurians and Pleiadians below, and I also encourage you to check out the previous two sessions. And if you've been following along, then I hope that you have found a comfortable space to fully embrace and embody this transmission. Take a few deep centering breaths now. Just close your eyes for a moment. Breathe in deep into your stomach and exhale all that was before this session and will be after this session. Finding that space of stillness and presence. A couple more centering breaths. And when you are ready, open your eyes and just gaze at the card that is on the screen in front of you. This card in itself is activating. So you can gaze at it for just a few seconds or a few minutes. Whatever you're being called to do to receive this activation. We are connecting now to the energy of the Lemurians and the Pleiadians as it channels through me into you activating you on a deep core cellular level, whatever your needs are at this time. We are being encouraged to take our analytical mind and put it aside. Like you could just take it out and put it on your left shoulder for the next 10 minutes or so. This transmission is a bit esoteric. And so we're being encouraged to flow with what comes to us, what we feel, what we imagine and visualize, where the energy brings us, what the energy shows us. It's not a time to overanalyze anything, but just completely be in a state of allowance and flow. And so the, I'm reading a bit from the book now, and it gives a wonderful guidance that I will be guiding you through during the session as we continue to channel this energy. So the book has a few words that are associated with this card. The first is beam up your vibration, open to your star family, and sacred geometry. It's also the master number 11 which is a number of new beginnings, transcendence, and enlightenment. And it gives an affirmation that I'm being guided to start with, so please just state this af affirmation after me. Ascended beings of love and light, from dimensions beyond time and space, Visit me with messages of transcendent glory. We're going to state that again. Ascendant beings of love and light. From dimensions beyond time and space. Visit me with messages of transcendent glory. And if you haven't yet, close your eyes. We're going to state it one last time. This time, speak it from your heart. Internalize these words. Ascended beings of love and light. From dimensions beyond time and space. Visit me with messages of transcendent glory. So relax now and we're going to begin the guidance. In Lemuria, you felt like a being of the earth, 
but you often had your eyes fixed on the sky. You knew of the meaningful messages when you watched the stars at night. Can you remember the Lemurian messages when you watch a starry sky? If you get shivers of amazement, if you feel the simplicity of being, then you are remembering Lemuria. The Lemurians were able to receive multi-dimensional messages by simply feeling. They didn't have the same concept of stars. They opened their hearts to the starlight. When a light ship showed itself, they didn't know how it worked, but they felt the benevolence and simply received the multi-dimensional messages. Have you connected to ships of light too? Or would you like to connect? And this is all safe. This is a benevolent energy, a beautiful energy, the energy of the Pleiades. To travel in a ship of light, you need to open your senses in a way of the Lemurians. Are you able to simply receive an experience without overanalyzing it? If you find this difficult, then know in your heart that joy is your natural state as a Lemurian star child, as is the awareness of yourself as consciousness without limitation. So breathe deeper into your state of being now. Letting go more and more of your thoughts. Opening up all of your senses now. You're going to imagine that you are in Lemuria. However that feels, whatever that looks like to you, take yourself there. You're looking up at a starry night sky. Feeling the grass that you are lying on, a soft breeze on your skin. Feeling your breath as it takes you into a dreamlike state. Soak in all of this goodness this beauty, this purity. And now picture beautiful lights are appearing right above you. And you are not scared at all. You know that there is only beauty inside. You are curious and you are open as these lights get closer and closer to you and a door of light opens. In your light body, or your etheric form, travel towards this open door of this ship now. And as you float inside, you meet your family of light. They are very happy to see you. All of your communications are telepathic. You don't use words, but you can feel the love, the remembrance. You can feel the unity and the oneness and the divine mission that they have and you have here on this earth. They tell you you're going to go for a bit of a ride through the cosmos. Again, you've never felt so safe and secure in your entire life. A warm, cozy energy embraces you as you find a comfortable seat upon this ship and open yourself up to this journey. 
and the ship is traveling now through the universe. And as it does, you receive many cosmic frequencies. These are allowing you to raise your vibration higher and higher. You are getting energetic and intuitive downloads. Allow your consciousness to expand. It expands so large that your consciousness envelops this entire ship. So you feel that you are the ship. You are traveling now through the cosmos with all of your senses. Just allow this. Feel into it. Allow yourself to receive these higher vibration frequencies, these energetic downloads. And you look down and you can see Earth, but it's not the Earth that you have seen in pictures or on film. This is an earth where you see all of the timelines. You see Lemuria. You see the old paradigm or the old earth, the 3D earth, and you see the new earth that we are grounding in, that you are grounding in during this session. See the perfection of it all. And you are being asked to take this perfection back down to earth with you. To take all of these cosmic frequencies and downloads and integrate them with your physical body for the highest good of all. And know that if you don't want to come down to earth because it's so beautiful up here that all of your light family all of these beings are with you, supporting you, and holding you, embracing you, always in love. And you are reminded now that you have come to Earth in this incarnation with a divine purpose of shining your light. And so this ship your higher self gently guides you back to these physical realms. And as you land back in your physical body, we allow our family of light to act as a cushion, the safest, softest, most gentle landing. And your light family is asking you now to embrace your existence here on earth. Knowing that you have asked before this incarnation to come here as a divine creator and to integrate these multidimensional frequencies. You signed up for this and you are ready for it now. And you are now able to communicate with all the universe through all of your senses, through opening your heart and allowing these higher frequencies to heal you, your mind, your body, your soul, embodying now these higher frequencies. And you carry these with you now as you journey through your earthly experience. And you can come back here to this place anytime you desire. You have all the support you need here. We're grounding you in more and more 
gently into your physical body. Feeling your breath as it enters your body. And as you exhale, feeling your physicality as the embodiment of your light body. Grounding a little more, feeling your connection to Mother Earth and feeling her gratitude for you. She is so grateful that you are grounding in these high vibrational frequencies and bringing it back to her and all of her children. Connect with her. Feel her presence wrapping you up, allowing you to feel safe, to move forward in your divine life purpose. We are disconnecting from this session now. We state our gratitude for all who helped us and supported us in this journey today and all who are helping and assisting as we journey forward, grounding in this new earth. So be it and so it is. Please make sure to drink some water to help you ground and I will see you next time.